one thing uh, you need to understand is the technology is subjective because it's about you. You have known objective technologies, how to fix the car, how to fix the airplane, how to fix the aircraft, all these things. You can stay away from those things, look at them and fix them, they are different. But this is subjective technology, it's about you. So if you have to look at this, in some way you have to open up. So if we have to open you up, see today, there was a time they were doing surgeries on the street side, you know that? Yes? And if too much blood comes, they would just pick up mud and throw it and stop bleeding in the village. Yes, do you know? Yes or no? If there is a cut or a wound and there's too much bleeding, they would simply take mud and put it somehow to stop the bleeding. But today we have understood, even if we have to open a small opening in the body, we need a certain, certain sterile condition to do it. We have understood that much, isn't it? So, whether it's the physical body means we need a certain kind of condition. Similarly, if we have to open up you as a person, we need a different kind of atmosphere. We need a committed atmosphere. In a casual atmosphere, you never do it. Why today any thinking person, little people who consider themselves intelligent in the world, have an allergy to anything spiritual is simply because of this, because spirituality has presented itself in such ridiculous ways. They are so pathetic. Isn't it so? There are all kinds of idiots on the planet. But the so-called religious and spiritual idiots take the cake anywhere in the world. Isn't it so? Yes, this is simply because people started handling spirituality in uncommitted manner. Anywhere, everywhere, talking about it. On the street side, they are talking about Krishna and how he did this and Bhagavad Gita, it's just become ridiculous because you're not demanding a certain involvement and commitment from people. Just anywhere you're going on like a film song or a commercial thing. Now, slowly it has become so ridiculous, people have just dismissed the value of it, absolutely. Now it is only the ignorant and the uneducated who listen to Mahabharat and this one and that one. They educate it because they've already dismissed it as nonsense, because it's happening in such ridiculous ways. It is not being presented properly, not creating the right kind of situation for it to grow, simply doing it anyway. So subjective technology is never attempted in uncommitted atmospheres. It has to be done in a committed atmosphere. We want to just align these four wheels on which you carry your life. See, you may think and imagine many things about you. In your experience, the only four realities of your life is physical body, mind, emotion and energy that supports all this. Isn't it so? Other things you imagine and you believe from your traditions and cultures, these are the only things which are in your ex living experience. If you want to go somewhere, if you want to make any kind of journey, you can only start your journey from where you are right now. Wherever you want to go, you want to go to Mumbai Devi or to the moon, you can only start your journey from the seat in which you are sitting right now. Isn't it so? If you try to start your journey somewhere else, you will become hallucinatory. Most of the religion in the world, over 90% of the religion in the world has become hallucinatory because they are all trying to start from the third step to heaven, not from where they are. You must first realize, what is the experiential reality of who you are? What is the next step and the next step and the next step? This is the only way you are genuinely going to go somewhere. Otherwise, you will become hallucinatory. This hallucinatory religion has brought some solace to you, but not found any liberation or freedom within you. Now you just believe everything is being taken care of for you for, by God, everything. But tomorrow morning, if something happens in your life that you do not like, suddenly you crack up, isn't it? Because it is so surface what you believe in. Life can crack you. It doesn't matter what kind of hallucinations you have. Life situations are capable of breaking you if they don't go right, isn't it? Now, if you're a believer, if life is not happening your way, it must be definitely happening his way, isn't it? You must be even more happy. But that's not the reality of your life. You want the life to happen 
the way you want it. If you have any problem in your life right now, it is just this, life is not going the way you think it should go. Is there any other problem with your life? Hmm? Is there any other problem with your life? This is the only problem that human beings have. Life is not going the way they think it should go. Isn't it so? If it is not going your way, it must be going the Creator's way, isn't it? You must be even more happy, but that's not the reality because there are too many deceptions in the mind.